Running your own print-on-demand business is all about trends. Keeping up with trends, spotting trends, predicting trends, and if you're really lucky, creating trends. And so we always have to have our eye on the future. And while right now it's really hot, in a few months it'll be fall, and that means the sweatshirt will be in full swing. And so today I'm gonna be walking through the top sweatshirt ideas so that way you can start incorporating them into your shop to maximize sales. If you're new here, my name is Megan, and in 2023, I launched my own print-on-demand business, grew that to be six figures of revenue, and now I share all of my tips, tricks, and hacks, so that way you can make money online too. There is a huge wave of people needing this information, wanting to make an extra buck every month, and so hopefully I can provide some of that value. It's all completely free, so if you're here, like and subscribe so I can keep making videos like this. The first step for launching any new products is going to be research. And so today, we're gonna start with a layer of research utilizing one of my favorite tools, which is going to be Everbee. Everbee is a Chrome extension that basically ties into Etsy, so that way you can go in and you can see which products have the most sales, what are some of the tags that are being utilized, so you can start to spot these trends early and adapt them for what's to come and hopefully create your own trend. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into Etsy and I'm going to just type in sweatshirt. I wanna keep it super broad to just understand what is happening in the space. So once I come into Etsy and click onto sweatshirt, I'm just going to start scrolling to see what is popular without taking a look at the analytics, but what are we seeing with mock-up images um, there's pretty much a mixture of uh, hoodies, but also crew necks. Flat lay mock-ups seem very popular, um, but we're also seeing a lot of embroidery, which is an interesting statistic. And we're already starting to see things like Halloween pop up here, which is super exciting. So that's a really good indicator that we are on the right track with wanting to get ahead of this because believe it or not, people are already searching for this. In fact, there is this new trend right now called Summerween. I had never heard of it, but I apparently it was popularized on some Disney show where every summer they would have a summertime Halloween event. And so all of a sudden, as you can see this summer, there is a huge uptick in interest for summer ween. So people are throwing these really fun parties that will have like a coffin pool floaty. And instead of carving pumpkins, you're gonna be carving watermelons. So there's this revival of people knowing that Halloween is coming and we wanna get super excited for Halloween, but you also don't need it to be Halloween in October for us to celebrate horror and celebrate spooky things because Halloween movies are a thing, but horror movies come out all year round. Um, I know what you did last summer is literally in the summer. Uh, so this is a super fun trend and seeing that those are already starting to trend is just perfect confidence that we are on the right track with listing these types of things. So I guess first thing that I would start with is if you have free time on your hand, I would start designing some summer ween things just for the tail end of the summer because we're going to see people utilizing this trend through the end of the summer and I think it's just a really fun way to start testing fall designs before fall is even here because the demand is already here. So super fun and super niche to this year. So back over to Etsy. Once we're back onto Etsy, I am going to now analyze my products and see what the insights are. And once I am in the analytics, I always just like to sort down for monthly revenue. And what that's basically going to do is take a look at how many sales the shop has sold and what the average listing price is. This doesn't take into account discounts, so it's not 100% accurate, but still there is directionally uh, a lot of valor in this data. So I'm just gonna start taking a look and spot trending for designs. And so I think the main standout that I'm seeing here is going to be personalization. So out of the top handful of listing, almost every single product is a customized hoodie or crew neck. So these are products that are doing upwards of $50,000 a month in revenue, which is a huge opportunity for somebody from home to be able to utilize this business model of print on demand, where you're not actually having to own the inventory um, and you're utilizing a production partner like Gelato to actually print, package, and ship these products for us. So customization and personalization is a top trend. 
Another thing that is really floating to the top in the terms of demand and actual sales are going to be embroidery. Uh, this is a style that has increased in popularity and really withstands the test of time. I think people in this space are willing to pay a little bit more for embroidery because it goes through washes well, there's not the risk of fading like you have with actual prints. So it does make a lot of sense that these designs are selling better. After I take a look at everything, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look at what's trending in the last three months. So I'm going to filter this and only choose three as my max listing age. And this is just to get an idea on, yes, we can see what's done the most sales over a larger period of time, but we want to drill down and kind of see maybe there's something that has a little bit more seasonality to it or has a little bit more hype recently that we can utilize in our design process as well. Not surprisingly, it's very similar trends in the top three months. We see dad sweatshirt trend to the top, which I think is a really fun insight here. Uh, there's more and more male dad and father clothing that is existing uh, across the platform, which is really, really exciting. But still, customizable is top dog here. And then we also see some political stuff rising in the ranks as well which isn't surprising. You probably will see more of this happening leading up to the election in November. And then another design that I'm really liking is something closer to this, which is kind of just like a minimalistic, simple uh, crew neck sweatshirt. This crew neck in particular is in 20 carts. Uh, they're offering a 25% off sale, um, but the crew neck is still $39.99 and they're charging $7.99 for shipping. So we right off the bat know that the person purchasing this is paying a, somewhere around $50, including tax if they have it, uh, for this type of sweatshirt. So this might be something that we think about listing and looking at uh, for a fall trend. And then I'll probably do the same thing for crew neck just to get a pulse check on if there's anything different flowing into the crew neck side of things, uh, just given that some folks will be searching for the crew neck keywords as opposed to the sweatshirt keywords. So very similar, lots of personalization here. Um, that kind of seems to be the name of the game. There are a few different things that are also flowing in that are not personalized, like this silly goose on the loose crew neck. Again, we are seeing the embroidery be a main theme here as well. So now that we've done the research, we can move on to the design styling and the designing phase of listing a bestseller in the crew neck and sweatshirt category. So given that crew necks and hoodies are super popular and that there are designs out there that are selling more than $50,000 a month in revenue, I know that that is a space that there is opportunity to carve out even a small percentage of that for my own shop. So what I'm going to do is go over to one of my top picks for print on demand, which is Gelato. They offer embroidery and these exact same products. So that way we can make these designs utilizing embroidery, which is super high end, which will allow us to offer a slightly higher price point, a slightly higher margin, and hopefully ride this trend of embroidery crew necks and sweaters, but apply our own unique spin and design style onto it. Luckily for you, I have a link in the bottom for you to sign up completely for free and get 50% off your first order if you order within 72 hours of creating your account. So once you come into the product catalog, you'll be able to go over to their clothing and they quickly monitor out and they quickly list out the different options here. So as you can see, they have a handful of different options. I'm gonna go with the same crew neck sweater that we saw trending super well. And for my first design, I'm going to do something that is not customizable, but something that plays off of the trend that we are seeing perform super, super well and do over five figures of revenue every single month. I'm gonna come into this product and I'm going to choose embroidery and I'm going to start designing in the sand color, which I think will perform really well for a fall crew neck. You can see here that they have so many different options with where you can actually have this embroidery done. So as you saw in Etsy, they had all those different images about having customizations of mama on the collar. I'm gonna choose for this design, just the large chest area, and I'm going to drop in my design here. I really think I popped off on this design, so I'm super excited to put it into here, but basically, it just plays off of that minimalistic four image graphic with a saying down below that we're seeing perform super, super well. And I'm gonna play on that and add it to the Western niche and the Halloween niche that we've seen trend well this year. 
And so I've created this design that basically just says, let's go ghouls. And I think it's super, super cute and will sell super well. So once you upload your product onto here, you're going to immediately see how the platform kind of digitalizes it to be embroidery, and then you can save that as a template. So that's how you're going to design a product in this category. Embroidered crew necks that were not customized were selling for $39 plus $7 for shipping, so close to a $50 price point. On here, it's going to cost us somewhere around $30 to actually print and ship this. So that is a huge margin. So we could be profiting $20 per crew neck, which is a 40% margin, which is very healthy when we have to factor in maybe some Etsy fees, or if you were deciding to promote these on your own, you'll likely need to drive some of that traffic, but it's a really, really healthy margin that you're going to be able to retrieve. Another avenue that we can look into is the personalized route. Personalized products are awesome because people are more willing to pay extra money if something has a custom element to it. So one thing that I would look into is seeing what types of themes are out there in the market today that you might be able to put a customized spin onto, just the typical boyfriend, girlfriend hoodie. This is the crew neck sweater that you could add on a left wrist embroidered placement, or you can add on left chest embroidered placements. So with literally products like this and partners like Gelato that are going to allow you to take your business to the next level and really start scaling into these high niche but high return products that are moving $50,000 a month in revenue. One idea that I had for my shop is taking a look at the different tropes that are in the media today. One of the tropes I think is hilarious nowadays is going to be the boyfriend-girlfriend theme of a golden retriever boyfriend and a black cat girlfriend. So one thing you can do is you could put onto a crew neck like this, matching crew necks, but on the girlfriend one, it would be a black crew neck and it would say black cat and have his initials on the wrist and on the boyfriend hoodie, it would be like the brown or the sand color, and it would say golden retriever. And on his wrist, it would have the girlfriend's initials. So just finding different ways to take what's really popular right now, utilize the fact that these are products accessible to all of us for free that we're able to market and add our own spin to could be absolutely huge for growing your shop or starting your shop. So those are a couple of my ideas for crew necks this season. If this was helpful whatsoever, please like and subscribe and send to somebody that might be interested in this moving forward.